Hi, my name is Mitch, and I'm here to present the Guasti Trailer Base Camp manufactured by Coastline Manufacturing Company. First, before we start, let me ask you all a quick question. How many clowns will fit into one of those cute little snail-shaped trailers? Whoa, better hold on to your answers until after class. I see that the Base Camp setup crew is ready to get started. Alejandra stretches out to 5 feet 1 inch tall, while Irene towers over her at 5 feet 5 inches. Wasty trailers are lightweight tent trailers that could be labeled as either off-road trailer or family campers. It doesn't matter what one wishes to call them because our trailers are all built to the highest standards possible at the point in time. Our trailers do not have any sticks, plywood, staples, screws, or rivets holding any structural components together. There is nothing in these trailers that will ever dry rot over the next several decades. While we do build our trailers to sustain the rigors of jarring washboard country roads, they also hold up pretty darn well in county parks too. This trailer is built on a 3,500 pound axle with leaf springs. On top of the chassis sits the box which is comprised of a welded tubular framework and honeycomb aluminum panels secured in place with aerospace adhesive sealants. The box itself measures 85 inches long, it is 77 inches wide and 25 inches tall inside. The overall length of the trailer, measured from the jerry can rack to the hitch, is 11 feet 7 inches. We do offer a lighter weight configuration that starts with a 2200 pound torsion axle with electric brakes and smaller diameter tires for towing with Subarus or smaller trucks. The dry weight here is about 1200 pounds or so, but the only time that any of our trailers have been on a scale, they have carried some water in a tank, a propane tank, a spare tire, and a battery. Dry weight listings can be a bit misleading as most manufacturers usually list the dry weight as a basically and use the trailer. The top of the base camp is made from 11 ounce vinyl coated marine grade fabric and is designed to surpass military standards for wind and rain load. That requires withstanding steady winds of 50 miles per hour and 65 mile per hour wind gusts. Our design has been tested in Santa Ana winds with 65 mile per hour steady winds and gusts much higher than that. Our trailers will withstand two inches of rain per hour with negligible leaking around the seams and windows. Take a look at the taut fabric across the bows and down the sides. This is essential to prevent excessive wear due to the wind and maybe more important than that, it helps to minimize flapping around in the night while you're sleeping. Interior of the base camp is a spacious 14 feet long, 75 inches wide, and it supports a very comfortable ceiling of 79 inches. There are two double beds and a 22 inch wide bench that covers as a small single bed. We manufacture our own pocket spring mattresses in our custom canvas shop. Take a look at the windows. On the outside is a roll up flap that closes over the bug screen for privacy. On the inside is a zip up marine grade vinyl glass that lets you enjoy the view but still keeps the wind, rain and the fog outside. The side window is set in a high position to double as a vent on colder damp days and nights. Just crack it open at the top to vent out the moisture. The vestibule is zippered in place and is very tight and secured to the floor with our unique ballast yeah. bag system. Have you ever tried pounding tent stakes into tree roots or rocky ground? How about in the soft sand? I gave up on that game a long time ago. Standard issue here is three ballast bags and three rope ratchets. Place the support poles inside the bag and then fill the bag with dirt, sand, or rocks. When you're ready to break camp, just dump the contents out, roll up the bags, and travel on. One of the several best features that come standard with this trailer is the shower. A hot shower is always a great way to wrap up a dusty and sweaty day of adventure. Our enclosed shower is backed up with 28 gallons of onboard water. Hot water is provided with a built-in 6-gallon Atwood water heater. Two jerry can racks on the back could carry an additional 10 gallons of water. For the times that you stay in a controlled campground and cannot drain the kitchen sink directly onto the ground, there is a gray water holding tank. But if you're not interested in the gray tank at all, a larger freshwater tank could be included. Your domestic electrical needs are supported with a 1000 watt inverter, a solar ready Anderson clip plug-in at the battery box, a battery charger converter, ample 12 volt and 110 outlets, 
and two 12 volt light strips. The battery box will hold two 6 volt batteries beneath the tool tray. The galley surpasses every competitor's kitchen in utility and convenience because it was designed for group camping and has a three burner propane stove top, a nearby barbecue hookup, and ample storage compartments, including our unique galley bag. Hot and cold water and propane gas are connected with quick release couplers for easy setup and breakdown. Storage in the base camp is ample but very basic. The internal capacity is over 32 cubic feet plus what the galley drawers will hold. People like our canvas storage bags that are held in place with snaps and velcro. What's really nice about them is the ease of removal before and after your trip. And once again, there are no wooden stick drawers and doors to vibrate apart on those washboard desert roads. Additionally, on top of the trailer is a built-in luggage rack to carry bikes, kayaks, and other bulky stuff. We could have installed the optional sidewalls to the vestibule, but this trailer was sold without that option. With the sidewalls and floor in place, you will be protected from wind and rain up to military standards. The side panels are modular and it is not necessary to install all of them if you just want to cut down on wind or add a little shade. Options are limited but for the serious off-road traveler this articulating hitch is a must-have item. This unit is unique in that it decouples from itself making hookup on unlevel ground easy. Now let's revisit that opening question. How many clowns will fit into a teardrop trailer? Well, quite frankly, who cares? Our entire crew will fit comfortably inside the base camp with plenty of room to spare. Try that with any other trailer of comparable size, weight, and functionality.